Bang and chaos begin! Today, today is the day that we do the whole mischief maker, chaos engaged kind of night. We just dive in and you guys kill me on repeat because that's, that's what we do on Tuesdays now. So hello everybody, how you doing? Glad that you're here. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope that you all are having a fabulously awesome, fantastic, superb, all those good things in your day. <laughs> me? Me, I need some coffee in my life. Oh, let's get that over here. Me, 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 me. Ah. Hello, Wart. How you doing? And hey, Cody loves schnock. Loves. I just like butchered your name. Hi, Cody. How you doing? Uh, I'm always murderizing people's names. Hey, Angel Dark. How you doing? Thanks for the lurk. We appreciate it. Hello, hello, everybody. How you guys doing tonight? Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Mad, welcome back. You're right. I haven't seen you for a while. I hope that you're doing okay, and I hope that you being gone for a while isn't because things weren't okay. I hope that you were the good kind of otherwise occupied. Hi, Grace Wigan. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Worked. Me, I am on day three of my migraine run, so I've definitely been better. Um, luckily I have meds that help, but it's still not 100% awesome <laughs> sauce. Uh, so I've been doing lots of resting and I'm hoping that I can go the whole stream. That's the plan. Um, yeah, yeah. I was spending a lot of time with family and friends. Oh man, that's a perfect reason to not be hanging out on a stream. Fantastic. I love hearing that. Spending time with people is absolutely the most important thing that we can do because... Yeah, people matter. They're they're gonna make or break the difference in our lives. So awesome! Glad to hear that bad things weren't going on. Hey Guardian Holmes, how you doing? Alright, so Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be doing murder roboing tonight! And my goal is to go my usual four hours. We'll see how it goes. As long as my meds hold up, then we are going to go the whole time. I might need to take a break, which I usually don't. And I might need to end early. So we'll we'll play tonight by ear. My goal is to go the whole time, though, because this is my absolute favorite stream. And I would want to do the whole thing. Uh, sorry to hear that. We're always here for you. And taking a break can be necessary. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to be trying to balance having a good time and enjoying my favorite stream and self-care. And sometimes with chronic illness, that can be a really hard thing to, to balance. And I'm not sure that even after all this time, because um, I've been diagnosed for about half my life and I still don't feel like I have all the answers and know the best way to manage and, and spend spoons. Um, but I do think that there are times that it is worth um, spending the extra spoons rather than conserving. And I think that it is important that we do have moments that we sh we sh celebrate and, and do the fun thing. And um, tonight is the fun thing for me that I do every week. So I try really hard to do it even if it means spending um, extra spoons. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I hope you had a happy Easter too, man. All right, so let me get into the game because that always takes it a little bit. And it, we all know it's like chug a lug, 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 lug in the world of uh, our, our, our zombie-ness. Seven Days to Die does not always work as quickly and as smoothly as we would like it to. But I love it. It's amazing. It's perfect this game in all of its quirkiness. It just it is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's interesting how much a game does not have to be perfect to be super loved and absolutely amazing. And there's definitely a lot of games that I find are filled with quirks and are still um, have a huge fan base. Hey, Siri! And hi, Ads, how you doing? Oh, and we got a rage quit from the cat going in the little box. It's a nice, nice little box. Enjoy the quiet contemplation. Yeah, I love indie games. I think that they are a lot of fun and I enjoy seeing what um, they come up with because oftentimes they're not constrained to buy like the mainstream market and popularity stuff. All right, let's get Twitch integration going requesting permission and let it get switched over so you can actually see what I'm doing over here we're doing the magic connecting All right, mischief is connected. Oh, it looks like. There we go. Twitch integration engaged. Chaos is engaged, guys. <laughs> All right, let me. Get my overlay moved, because this game, I need it in a different place than pretty much every other game. Because its stuff is... Lives in different places than most games. It's fine, it's fine. I, like, end up with so much stuff stacked on my screen when I'm playing this game. It's just like... Where can I have all the things? Incoming enemy, prepare for conflict. Oh, all right. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna get things going right out of the gate before I even get all set up. Go, go, go! Who got me that? Who gave me that present? Crazy green, it looks like. Nice job. Best way to start. <laughs> oh well, I died. Yeah, that happens. Always, always, always. Right out of the gate. All right. It looks like I got a water the face hole. <laughs> Man, I'm beginning to feel like I should just set up before you all uh, get on, but what's the fun in that, right? I mean, half the fun is knowing that you can, like, blow me up anytime. Speaking of blowing me up anytime. Wah! <laughs> hey there, uh, Noodle, how you doing? Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> Let's try that that uh, whole emptying my pockets thing again. Yeah, we, we, we just dive right into the chaos. We embrace the chaos completely without hesitation. Better or worse, man. All in. All in! Alright, is this better? It's exactly the same as I'm wearing, so it can go into the box. Grab shells, because, oh man, you guys are going to make me want them. You always make me want more than I have. There are never enough shells. This is kind of awkward. When we left off playing last time, I had a little truck at the bottom of this ladder. There is no truck. Oh no! What happened to the truck? 
The world eats your junk! Your truck. I don't see it anywhere on the map. Glad to hear that you're doing good. I am in a good mood. I have definitely felt better, but emotionally, I'm I'm in good space. Tonight is always a good night for my mood, which is why I always try really super hard to make it happen. All right, we got a nurse horde, white horde. Got them snakes out there riding in my truck. I think that they did. I think they took it, and I don't see Obi. Okay, you're way over there, little buddy. All right. Like, out in East Spot Fuck! Poor little dude. The snake's attacked into the truck, right? I love coming and hanging out with all of my murder hobos and chaos engineers. You guys are amazing. You can get it back if you pay the pork quota ransom. <laughs> I accept the party invite. Uh. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Ah! No, no, no! Ah, oh, man. These guys are so annoying. And, of course, the big shielded guy is out front. Miss Raj, but duck and cover. Oh, fuck, directly behind you. Where that <laughs> she doesn't care who she blows up. Friend, foe, you know. I told you to duck and cover. I mean, come on. start. Oh, looks like I have a water in the face all. Sorry, I was a little slow on that one. No, I think you already did that one. It just didn't get cleared off. Well, that's fine. Oh, did you I? Use the hydration. Oh, well... I, I'm, I'm watering the face, all. Oh, and starting death number 172, Siri. You are right. I did not uh, start the tally. That is definitely important. We must know what you have achieved. Uh, yes, 171, because you, okay, you did murder me right I'm out of the gate. Over here. My truck loaded. I did. I, I died right out of the gate. Like I was like, and shit in it. The horde died, huh? Did you find it? Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Woohoo! Listen up. Yes. Snakes realized it was not the pig's truck and decided to return it. <laughs> Obi! I'm coming! I shall collect in you! Poor little guy. Always getting left out in the middle of nowhere because I'm always dying and... It's always like my, my continuous fetch quest. Go collect Obi! I 
I need a little, like, find your way home upgrade for the little guy. <laughs> it needs a mod so that it can't be just, like, abandoned. If owner dies, return home. All right. It's like right here somewhere. Oh, there's like bags here too. How's this sound tonight? I know we adjusted it when I was playing the other game, so I don't know how it is with this one. I I hope they don't have separation anxiety, because to me, the, the, the music is, like, way louder than the game, so I was just making sure it wasn't overwhelming. Is, is sounding good? Cool. Fabulous. And hey, Harry, how you doing? All right, they're... they're... Oh, there you are. <laughs> I didn't hear them talk to me and say hi. <laughs> Speaking of the game being, like, not hearable to me. Hello, Obi! How you doing, bud? I guess we're gonna do a quest. I guess this is where I, like, was mucking about last. Excellent. All right. Happy to hear the sound is good. I know we uh, messed around with the balance quite a bit last time, so glad to hear that it is still good with another game. Because that does not always, like, translate when you switch games and stuff. Man. I just spilled my coffee. I'm now wearing coffee. What's new? Always, oh, still, and forever. I now have a caffeinated thigh. Too bad I don't actually absorb and benefit from said caffeine through my thigh. I'm just gonna put this whole entire bus in my pocket. Love some good thigh caffeine. Ah, uh, nothing like a little bit of thigh caffeine to wake you up in the morning. Snuggle up with your partner, do a little licking, and you're just like, great, ready for the morning. <laughs> better, better than sipping out of a cup, man. <laughs> I'm broken. There's something cup. wrong with yes, me. Sipping out of a cup. That's where we're gonna go. I didn't... Cup, cup. I said cup. Don't be a pervert. I would never say anything inappropriate, <laughs> especially if it's hot caffeine. Well, if it's too hot, then it's like I'm awake now. <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm marked as an adult channel because. Things, things happen. Things are said. I shall corrupt all the children. I have no brain to mouth the filter. It is broken. Exactly! They are not supposed to be on my channel. Nobody younger than 18 is supposed to be here, so if they are, that's not my problem. It is not my problem to raise other people's children. I mean, I personally never censored my kiddo, but I, I think that that's something that they can, like, decide but for their own. 
But I thought you were wholesome. I oh, I'm totally whole. I will not. I can't wrap my head around it, man. Like so many people call me wholesome, and I'm like, have you have you watched my channel? Like we talked about fisting extensively when we when we played Soma. Did you did you watch my do you watch my channel? There's definitely no filtering. Whether I want there to be or not, it's just not an option. Ah! Whether hey! there should be or not. Uh... Yeah, whether there should be or not. I mean, I think that we get a little bit um, too uh, worried about the whole gotta filter everything out. The woke fist. Yeah, the wholesome woke fist! The wholesome fist! <laughs> Get the whole zoo. Yeah, I did. Oh. Wait for him to come over and I'm not even loaded. Oh, man. I, I have too much shit, guys. Guys, I have too much stuff in my inventory! I don't Always and forever. I don't know how this happens. It's, it's not like I pick up everything. The testosterone, our drugs, guys, our drugs. Do we even use testosterone? Used to make uh, steroids. Oh man, and I use a lot of steroids. We do. We can get rid of one beer for my steroids. Thank you for the support, Harry. I really appreciate it. The poor line, it's stuck. <laughs> because I don't have picket space. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Thanks for this. What? Yeah, no! Stop! Stop spoiling my food! No! Not the food! My precious food! Ah, uh, it's safe now. Oh, I got Uber coffee on me, even. We got the uh, black strap coffee for when you really a need strap. a pickup. Oh, and I apparently am like infected. Man, I'm just starting and I already got my butt kicked. What's up with this, guys? Needs to have every time sensitive decision blocked by vote, right? Then maybe they will understand the pain. <laughs> I think that they need to give me more power in deciding what is and isn't um, blocked like that. Like, I think the votes are a lot of fun, and I think they're really cool, but I wish that you guys could still cause suffering and chaos during most of the votes. I don't think that boss votes should... I think those are about the only ones that I would say I would want to have your other commands on cooldown because man the bosses are pretty brutal but i think everything else i mean and even if i'm being honest i probably would still even let you uh torment me during boss votes because i'm a glutton for punishment like that I do deal with the bosses just fine, but they are evil.
But I, I definitely would be way more permissive if the Twitch integration would let me. And I wish that th that was something that they would give the person being inflicted with the chaos decide rather than deciding for me. Case, I jumped over the edge. Anybody surprised? I mean, I don't need them to, like, decide how much I can handle. I mean, and so what if I can't handle it? That's my problem, right? The whole point of Murder Hobo Night is you guys murdering me. Let's go off and away to this quest and see if I can actually accomplish a quest! I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that it'll go just fine. It never goes wrong. Hey, all of that coffee made it in my face. Yes! Drinking successfully! I mean, you would think that as an adult, I would have managed the basic body functions like drinking and walking and breathing, but there we are, still struggle busting with the basics. Oh, you guys send me explosions! What are we gonna blow up? Depends on what I get. So. Oh, I got some dynamite. That's gorgeous. We're gonna have to find a building to blow up. Oh, definitely, definitely finding a building to blow up. I'm gonna blow myself up. What are you talking about? I never blow myself up. <laughs> never happened. I never blow myself or my allies up. Mm -mm, just zombies. And the occasional way we're building. The last building I tried to blow up though, the dynamite was a dud. It was so disappointing. I don't know what building it was or I would go to back to the building and see if it would blow up now. Speaking of blood up buildings, there's the crater. Ah, yes, the crater! Glorious crater! Hey, Cookie, how you doing? Come on, come, Cookie. I'm doing fair. Alright, this is the victim I have chosen. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Got a zombie. Thank you for the lurk, Earthcar. Uzka. Ooh, ooh. Is it Uth? I always pronounce it wrong. Now I'm not. I'm not sure! I'm forgotten! Oh shit. That was a dud throw. I didn't blow myself up though, so it doesn't really, you know, it's fine. Ugh. Blew myself up a little bit on that one. Man, the building didn't fall. Just made a dent in it. I 
how you're going to be back? Do I even want to know what you're going to be doing while you're gone? He's like, yes, I'm going to calculate all the ways for murder. I feel like your guys' theme song is the, like, murder ABC song. Hey, I'm new to this whole, like, blowing up buildings. I, and I was trying to throw it in different places. My throwing skill set is sketchy at best. I'm blowing myself up less often, so that's something. Don't worry, get comfortable, all is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure it is. Alright, back to the quest. Thanks, Obi. Appreciate the heads up. You never know when I don't notice. Captain Obvious saving lives. I mean, it really is painful when I go back you know, and like edit videos and I'm watching a recording and I'm like, what, I just ran by that? Or, oh man, look, look at the thing. Yeah, it's all the things that I don't see when I'm actively playing a game that I see when I'm record uh, watching a recording, it's, it's painful. rabbits. So ruthless on the wildlife. Man, you just never know. They could be a good rabbit, they could be a bad rabbit, or they could just be a rabbit rabbit. I've got a bad feeling about this. Thanks, Obi. Good job, buddy. casually put all of the cars in my pockets. I really, 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 really need these cars in real life to be able to fit in my pockets. Can you imagine the power, all the things that you gotta accomplish if you had pockets like this in real life? myself I need to pay better attention to the votes and then I never pay attention to the votes. <laughs> uh, 
And you guys are always just dumping stuff on me out of nowhere because I'm not paying attention to the boats. It's like danger dog pack out of nowhere. It's like, ah! It's fine, everything's fine. Totally fine. This uh, pill pop in. But it's a it's a popping pill, so it's gotta have good drugs, right? We like drugs. Drugs it what's keep you going in the apocalypse. I think it's guns, but you'd be wrong. And you know what really helps in the apocalypse? Not shitty aim. Took me three. Oof. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. I'm getting acid. We like acid. I mean, not the drugs I was hoping for, but still useful. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I unlocked. What, this one? This is where I came in. No. On that same catwalk, there's a blue door. Oh, oh, it's locked. No, it's locked. My senses have picked up something. I can open this. I didn't expect- Oh, shit! I didn't expect that. I also didn't expect it to be the zombie garage. Just, like, open it up and they're all just there chilling. Like, oh, alright. All these medical supply loots are, like, mostly shit, but I am getting a good amount of acid.
Which could be a real pain in the butt to find, so that's something. Oh, this place looks fabulous! Get all of you. Oh, that's, got some other friends here. All right. Now they are the oxy free. <laughs> oh, well, guess we're going here. Guess you can't walk on the glass for some reason. My arse is too heavy, guys. This is gonna be a pain in the ass as a clear. I can see that already. It's in his drug box. I like drugs. Alright, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Hey, Steam just told me that you're playing Seven Days to Die. Whoa, what? Why didn't you invite oh, well, me? Shit. I didn't know. Bastard. Yeah, I love it when you're like actively in game with someone and it's like, hey, blown up. did you like, did you know that so and so is like playing? Yeah, I kind of did. Thanks. <laughs> Quite a few of you there. I should have known it wasn't going to be just one of you.
see. What we got in this one? Alright. Let's use some of the band-aids. Concerned about the murder hobos. Master, we are not alone. Not a whole lot's been going on. I'm sure there's on. nothing to worry about there. It should be fine. That means they're collecting. That means they're saving up for a big hurrah of murdering. And it's never a big hurrah. I, uh, <laughs> that's not true. I do always enjoy it, but <laughs> it's always a challenge. <laughs> It's always interesting when you guys save your points! <laughs> Alright, there's all kinds of like... This place is really convoluted. This place is gonna suck as a clear. Yeah, it's one of the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the skyscrapers. Yeah, I know, I'm just... Never, I've never done this. Yeah, adults. We have, just not as the new version of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. The remake. shit here. Uh. What do I not need? I don't need that.
Master, we are not alone. I'm sure not, but I don't know where they're all are hiding. I don't know where they're all at. Hey, look, I found some. Definitely need to take the medical with me. You didn't carry such slight amounts of uh, ammunition with you. I'm sure you'd be fine. I'm not sure that's the F word that would happen. I mean, it's not like it keeps you alive now. Hey, I do fair. I mean, I don't do, like, stellarly awesome sauce, but I do fair. Meanie. Oh, really? You can't give me medical supplies that will stack with what I already have? No, no, that would make too much sense. That would be too useful! Freaking Lord, are you serious? And how do I not again not have the boom things? Us. Crawlers cannot be trusted. <laughs> we'll just be here for a while. That's that that sucks. All right. Um, where is? If I'm gonna bust into that, I need to be able to like at least loot. Oh, you left friends around every corner, didn't you? Apparently. Going so fast. 
Some oh, oh. Everything's great. This is awesome. Everything's awesome. It's full of medical supplies. Apparently, none for yourself. Unless you're a couple running around there in the distance. Yes, well, you know, gotta, gotta take care of some things. I don't have any food, and there's a screamer here. That's awesome. Good screamer, fantastic. All right, that could have gone better. I have no idea how to get out of this place. I've got a bad feeling about this. You and oh, me both, Obi. Sorry, I should figure out how to carry this. Um, well, you know, let's just use some vitamins. We drop the coal, or even the uh, machine tool parts. Okay, so it's motor tool parts, because I've got like 60 of those sitting in the box here. I keep coming back to this room, oh my goodness. And I keep finding places that there are more zombies that I haven't been addressed. How exciting! Zombies everywhere! They've been doing some sketchy experimenting here, guys. It's in an effort to find a cure, I'm sure. It had nothing to do with creating this kerfuffle. Your laptop is so slow. That would just be uh, silly. somewhere but I don't know I don't know how to get out of this place that's the bathroom hmm 
I'm about ready to just start digging through a wall and call it a day. Team Spirit and all that. Been down here. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. It's been an hour. You've only got me once so far. You guys are kind of slacking tonight. Oh my god, this door is like... Recoculous. This isn't much better because I would have to destroy two blocks. So it's still 10,000. Oh man. Bonked my head. Masters, we are not alone. They found me. Ah, oh, man, I missed that freaking jump again. My aching balls! I can't jump to save my soul! Looks like you have an action ban. Oh. Playing without looking at the screen. <laughs> okay. So how are we gonna do? Are we gonna have her close her eyes for the the, the time? Is, is is that is that your ruling for not looking at the screen? I mean, I guess there's no way to really tell otherwise. Alright. 
So I guess sure. Yes. All right, it's five minutes. Let me hit my button. You start your timer. Yep. Oh Jesus Christ, people! That's just me. Wow, that sounded like a demo. I'm probably dead now. <laughs> uh, nope, you're still alive. I know. I was say I didn't hear the dead sound, but I'm probably uh bleeding and crippled and. I don't hear any zombies, though. Uh, but the snake will probably do it. What a snake! Oh, no! No, there's a snake kicking the shit out of you. There's a snake! Here, I'm some ammo. Oh, my God. Ah! Well, I guess, luckily, that wasn't a death crawler. It was just a regular ah! crawler, so that's something. <laughs> If it was a death crawler, it definitely would have been done. Oh my god, all the noises. Well, everybody's dead at the moment. <laughs> stop wasting precious ammo. Oh, 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 here they oh come. I died. I died. <laughs> there you go. I'm very familiar with that sound. Well, somebody's gonna have to tell me if I'm close to where the respawn button is. Nope. Complete opposite direction. No, now you went up. Now you need to go down. Down. And it, and it doesn't help that I've got a delay too. So <laughs> stop. <laughs> up a little bit. Up a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. Spawn on bed. All right. So this is. I'm trying to tell where am I? All right. I think that I'm on the uh, moving buttons. I have no idea if I'm moving, but... Yep. I don't know where you're moving to. Well, I don't know. I'm miraculously moving. wandered outside. Wow. Oh, I'm outside. All right. Woo! Maybe, maybe I'll actually go somewhere. You no, know, just wandering around the outside of the base as you hit rails and just... Oh, oh, the rails. I gotta jump. To I gotta oh, jump. there you go. You know, there's no fun if I just stay at home, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no idea. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> not do <to> a crawler. <laughs> oh. Me too, Obi. Me too. Oh wait. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That's why I'm out of ammo. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think I'm on my sword. I shall flail at you. I don't know what you're on? You're beating the shit out of him with it. <laughs> That is a shit ton of sakes, Siri. No, I want nothing to do with you little assholes. I was just coming to watch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch some VOD on this to see what kind of kerfuffle you guys did. <laughs> I defend myself with a swirly of blade! Sounds like there's definitely zombies here. I don't know if backing up. Oh, that's a demo. And and and, and I and something got me. I don't know what, but something something got me. What got me? Yep. The snakes on a plane is what. what snakes got on a plane. For you. <laughs> that's when there's like a whole bunch of them all. 
All right, now I gotta try to get respawned again. Do you help? Oh, good. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who did that kerfuffle. Yeah, I will definitely have to, like, call the slacker, Zira. That's on you. I, You guys still slack that first hour. You can't undo that. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, one death in an hour? That is pretty sad. Was busy doing my job, bugger off. And <laughs> you were working. Uh, you were lurking. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> death, death by wiggle. Two deaths in five minutes. I'm efficient. You're something. <laughs> uh, getting a few good pops in my stretching. It's all good. I feel attacked, but I mean, you're sh you're sharing ammo, so I'm something. <laughs> oh damn! Spoiled while I was fearing food. Oh well. You were what? What's the matter? I had been making food, and apparently somebody did spoil, so it. Oh, so rip the food? Is that what you're telling me? Didn't want that gumbo or chili dogs anyway. It's fine. Yep. Oh, yep, rip the food. Jerkwads! Oh man, there's some dynamite. Gotta use that for some shenanigans. rocket launcher level 4 in my pocket when I have a level 6 on my bar. Oh man, sometimes. My inventory is such a disaster show. Mischief is disconnected. Oh, well, let me see what Mischief is doing. Mischief says it is... Well, let me disconnect and reconnect and see why it's doing that. It says paused. I don't know why it says paused. Hmm. You killed it with the glory of your snakes. All right, it should be up and going at this point. Look at those guys go after you. Fantastic.
Oh, there you go. Night! Right. There you go. Damn. Another pig clone bites the dust! <laughs> oh, you got five going so far, I guys. Flipped over the truck. Yeah, it looks like that. Fortnite here. What the hell? Some of that first aid I got. Raj. All right, see ya. That's rude. Right when I got out my explosives. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Shit. For some reason, though, these do not count as no range, so... Woo! Fire! Oh, 
Oh, that makes it even more special. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. I'm sure that they are very happy to well, your guns are back, so... I'm sure rockets and confuse is a perfect combination. Nothing can go wrong. No, oh, where are you at, Mr. Roger? I lost track of you. Not shoot the monkey. I'm by the truck and the ladder, cause oh. you're on the ladder. You up? I'm at the back base at the moment. Perfect. Yeah, I have a broken leg, so I forget I should address that. It's probably a good plan. Broken leg, out of ammunition. Impromptu Horde Night.
Woohoo! Did Greg actually survive that? Mainly. Mostly, yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Didn't, didn't die! That means I got a level! Love it! And I love levels and stuff! And yes, Booksies is important! No idea how much ammo I'm carrying. It's fine. I'm sure if I just carry some more, it'll be perfect. And I'll be less likely to die, right? Don't forget to eat something before you run away. Definitely need to do that, too. Thank you for the reminder. Let's eat some snakes. Snake snacks are tasty. I love them. Eat snaking snacks all day long. I'm going to eat 10 grilled snake snacks. And I'm going to top it off with a serving of wolf gumbo. Mmm. -hmm. Good eating. They're going to pay for that one. Disapproving hissy can be heard in the distance. She's just rubbing it in today. <laughs> <laughs> I am being all kinds of saucy today. What you could do about it? I have 24 points? What the freaking actual hell? And Stax is entered the arena. Oh my freaking lord, I'm so screwed. Hi, Stax! You sure you don't want to play with us? One of us. I one know. of us. <laughs> I can I can hear her in the other room. One of us. One of us. And I'm like, no, you want to be one of the pigs, right? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my oh fuck. <laughs> oh, you could totally forget to redeem. It's 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 fine. Nobody will hate you if you forget your redeems. 24 points doesn't seem like a whole lot. Great, 24 points. I'm sure that's all you have. Oh, my skill points, yeah. <laughs> I usually spend them like right away, so I don't know why I have, like, a whole bunch of skill points sitting there. Maybe because every time I go to spend my skill points, y'all murder me? Maybe, maybe that's why. Sure that yeah, I good. should, I should totally spend them in between streams when you can't murder me. <laughs> what does brain drain do? I don't know what brain drain does. Oh my freaking lord. Oh, 
Good. That just does it to you and doesn't do it to both of us. That's something. Oh, because that was Mischief Maker, wasn't it? Fantastic. Ha <sighs> ha! Well, I guess I get a free respec if I want one. That's the spirit. Yeah, it's great jumping. I love it. It's my favorite. How to jump like a broken pogo stick, yeah! All that going around and around the truck and that, they appear to have broken it. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Such a strange thing. I don't I don't know how the truck got broken. It's so weird. Look at those rockets. Rockets? What about the rockets? I was accusing you of breaking the truck. Oh. Ah, uh, could be. I'm sure the zombies would have done it. Sure not. Sure, the indiscriminate use of explosives. I can own that. I made sure I didn't kill you. What do you want? I can't say I also made Apparently sure I didn't kill, kill the truck. Oh, there you go. So now I apparently have some housekeeping to do. And I suppose while you're back there, do you have picks or explosives for the next time you go out and you find I a have uh, chest again? Uh... I did. I did grab the explosives. Just stand there, go look for it. No, I'm sure it it's takes fine. the place out from underneath you. <laughs> I spawned on the roof. There you have me. Yes. I guess he's just gonna blow shit up because I don't know where it is. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, because Cookie keeps throwing things at us. It's terrible. Pretty fair. I think that was Bounty, but you know. That that's Cookie. Oh, 
okay, it just that's weird then. Because <laughs> yes, I see in chat saying that, but then in in uh, seven days that's so odd. Usually they match. Yeah, I have no idea why it didn't. But you're right, now let's see that I, I do remember that, but Here we are, spending points. How exciting. still have some. Where do I want to put them? Exactly where you had them before? No fucking idea. I ain't got no idea. I ain't got no fucking clue. I don't know. I don't know. Because I stopped doing the cooking because they uh, always punished me for that. We'll go with punished. Yes, and I've got points at this point too, so. Probably the weirdest spread I have ever had my points. There we go. But you definitely do things different when the chaos is engaged. So... And it is absolutely the fastest I've ever done it. I put very little thought in it. I'm just like... Ah, this sounds good. Screw it. <laughs> you guys are welcome. Thank you for the presents, Cookie! I mean, who doesn't like a good cop to snuggle with? Ah, uh, you can't send me explosives this time. I mean, you can always send me medical, but if you send me mystery, I might get explosives. Hey there, Thomas, how you doing? Yes, explosives! Aw, oh, Siri, you're voting for medical yeah. supplies. I didn't know you cared. Glad to hear that you're doing well. Bra, bra! Hello, 
How you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle! Only because I don't know how to give Misraj presents in his chat. <laughs> I don't know if I can earn points there. <laughs> I think that he has to be actively streaming? Or that you actually... I, I'm, I'm not sure how that works. Yeah. I know that you have to be, like, in his stream. It's it's a weird system. I don't know if he has to be actively streaming or not. Oh, Cookie's saying that you can do it. Just in his chat. Alright, there you go. Can you dual lurk? Interesting. I don't think we're gonna have a hard tonight either. That's not Doesn't look right enough for that. Oh man, I got too much shit in my pockets again. Again, it plays there's ever been a time you didn't have too much shit in your pockets. Um, very briefly when I was at the base. It never lasts for very long. It says I have some CP. Oh, how exciting! Roleplay a caveman who doesn't know technology until you die from a zombie? What? Look at the screen. Okay. <laughs> He's getting more and more uh, complex with his uh, cake demands. Role play caveman who doesn't know technology until you die from a zombie. And are you still not able to, like, type this in? I'm assuming that this is your I can tell you. That might be too long. But I don't know. It shouldn't have a limit. Not that I'm not sure. Alright, let me try that. Alright, are you going to uh, rule that this is a single action or that this is more than one thing? Because is that even an in-game action there? Uh... I mean... The dying from a zombie it is... just basically keeps you from interacting with technology, if you will. Right. And it's not like you have to do it the whole time. It's just until something kills you, so that usually doesn't take very long. So, let's give it a shot and see what happens. So I am going to argue that clubs and clubs and knives are caveman technology. Yeah, stone axe, things like that. But yeah. Well, so. bro, thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Just, just making sure that I've got the rules set before we start it, so that I don't, I don't uh, break the rules. Because, as always, if I break the rules during my time, I, I have to give you guys a free flip it, and that always sucks. <laughs> so, knife and club? 
Our our caveman technology is that is that what we're going with, or does it have to yeah. be a bone knife? I think so. You think it has to be a bone knife? No, I think what you got there is probably fine. It's... All right. All right, starting the five minute, or is it five minutes with us? I compel thee. I don't even remember. Or is this one just his? I don't know, oh, but this is your saying basement a time. Too. So, kill by zombie. Kill by zombie. All right. However long that takes. Clubs and knives until killed by zombie. And I'm supposed to role play it. I agree, Siri. In my chat. Okay, there we go. Lord. Oh. Yeah, I might have to reword to compel with a maximum limit so that it's like five minutes like the other one. Chicken, chicken food. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, yeah, mm, chicken, chicken. Mm, mm, chicken, uh, chicken, chicken. Oh, I don't think chicken, it works. Chicken though. fast, uh, me slow. Mm, chicken. They're always a work in progress. <laughs> mm, chicken. Chicken! Uh, yes, chicken. Aww. Chicken. Hmm, <laughs> chicken! Having snacks. Mmm, <laughs> chicken. Oh, <Aww. laughs> chicken go bad. Bad chicken! Hmm. Bad chicken! <laughs> Bad chicken! <laughs> More chicken. Mighty 
<laughs> Don't mess with the southerners, chicken. <laughs> Even I'm not that cruel. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's serious. Ma! 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 Oh, chicken! Good snacks. Ah! Arm no swing. What wrong with arm? Hey, chicken! <laughs> chicken, come back! <laughs> Me won't be winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah, chicken! Hey, my chicken! You know how chicken. My chicken! You don't take my chicken! Oh, world goes spinny spin! My chicken! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Hey! Now bugger off! Oh! As civilization reasserts itself in death. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's definitely one of our stranger moments. <laughs> that was epic. Well, I'm glad that you liked uh, the caveman rendition. <laughs> oh, chicken, go away. <laughs> oh, wait, it's still a chicken. But I'm not a heathen anymore, so I'm going to cook my chicken. Oh, wait, I don't know any uh, things now. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll just put it in here and maybe Miss Rush will cook it for me eventually. Make stomach burnt I mean, meat. that's real life. I can make bu burned meat or or I can wait for Miss Rush to make me real food. I mean, that's legit. That's exactly how it is in real life. Still a heathen. Yep. Alright, got all my drinks. First aid. Boop, boop. Boop. Boop, boop. Okay, more boop. Got going on. Ally friends are heathens. Take it slow. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now let's see. If I can go and get Obi, now that I remember about technology, I remember that I have a technological friend to go collect. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys in enjoyed whatever that chicken thing was. <laughs> Zebra picked as an entire seven days to die train as cave zebra. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's... I don't even know how to feel about the idea that... Do, like, either clubs or knives and, uh... I mean, a strength build, you could theoretically do a caveman, because they, they did know basic, like, get the rocks, right? Oh, I'll volunteer a wolf for my dinner. I should probably have, like, thought about repairing my stuff while I was at base, but I didn't, so here we are. In the middle of the willy wax. You're barely down the block. Middle anywhere the they wax. can, anywhere they can hurt me is in the middle of the willy wax. What are you talking about? So everywhere is in the middle of the willy wax. Yeah, pretty much. Stone Age for life. <laughs> Cave zebra get her rock, Fair. but know how to use. <laughs> I know how to use bash head with. That's how we mash the chicken. <laughs> now I will think of other role plays for you to do in the future. <laughs> Great. I look forward to it. <laughs> Good thing I have practice in role playing. <laughs> Me get rock! Me throw rock! Me collect chicken! Me winner winner chicken dinner! <laughs> oh my god. Role playing a caveman who doesn't know technology. <laughs> Do that until you die from a zombie. This time now, there is a five-minute limit. <laughs> because that was added. <laughs> because you guys are coming up with some crazy shit. Alright, apparently I'm getting a caveman. Yeah, yeah, there's a time limit these days. Because it's equivalent of you telling me I can only use my sword. And, well, that's pretty harsh if you give me bosses and stuff. Then, well, you know, that's a pretty nasty effect for only 2,000. Until you die from a zombie. Five minutes, my friend. Five minutes. <laughs> Cookie's like, no, I want to be forever. Nick of man, five minutes. I don't know what five minutes is, but that's what you get. Me find chicken. Me no remember Obi no more. <laughs> this is going to be my permanent role play. I see it now. <laughs> Me find chicken. Got to go with what you're good at, I guess. I don't think you read the fine print, Cookie. It's totally there. Me look for chicken. Hungry. Maybe find wolf. Then have big eats. <laughs> Wolf Big Tasty! <laughs> I pet wolf with knife and face! Oh, no egg! Me like egg! Oh, what weird noise. Ah, oh, pig! Me like pig! Mmm, pig dinner! Mmm! Hey, chicken! Chicken on fire! Chicken! Chicken, don't run! Oh, lots of dinner! <laughs> all, all kinds of dinner! Too much dinner! 
<laughs> ah! I don't <laughs> think I can eat all this dinner! <laughs> all the dinner is, is eating me. <laughs> dinner! Simmer down! Dinner on fire! <laughs> me on fire! Wait! Stop dinner! Ah! Dinner's supposed to die, not me! <laughs> 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 I'm dinner. <laughs> Bad dinner. Have you seen dinner? You got chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it. Uh -oh. mm. I don't know what kind of food lump this is, but yum! Food lump! Go find more food lumps! Because it has not been five minutes, nor have I been killed by zombies. So, well, here we are. Food lumps! Ah! Mighty Hunter! Oh, I think I could justify a spear, too. Oh, man! Me need poop! Chicken sick good in belly! <laughs> chicken talk back! Bad chicken! <laughs> Meg? Oh, no egg! Egg? Mm, no egg! my life now. Just embrace it with open arms. You'll be fine. <laughs> well, what's my caveman name, guys? <laughs> oh, egg! Mmm! No egg! Egg? Mmm! No egg! Egg! Ah! Egg! Egg! Me eat egg! Oh, I guess I don't have to eat the egg. Game zebra, duh! <laughs> oh, okay. Who's that? Oh, wait! Listen, you heathen! I, I worked really, really hard. Game zebra worked very, very hard. I mean, I think Game Zebra Pig worked all night to get those goodies. Jerk. And <laughs> gave himself the poops. <laughs> oh, I got honey. Nice. I didn't know we were doing roleplay night, but here we are! The things that we do on stream stay on stream, guys, okay? Uh huh. Nope, it doesn't. You guys are gonna do clips and you're gonna share them everywhere, and then I have to explain. And I just look at people and go, hmm. Yeah, that happened. So clip and share, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love you too, Siri. <laughs> Make people wonder and maybe they'll come to the stream, right? <laughs> I 
I mean, I don't know how to feel about it, but after you guys shared a lot of the fisting clips, we did get an uptick in visitors to the stream. Siri Senpai, teach me the ways of the clip! Oh dear. I don't know that I need Uthgar to know how to do clipping. on something there. Aw, oh, man, really? That's so mean! <laughs> Poor Obi! Doesn't keep me from fighting him! great moment happens you press alt x or press the movie clapper board oh hey hey no teaching that no in all reality it's fine you can also do it after stream during the vod so if you miss a moment you can go back to the vod and you can clip from the vod too Because I have full clips enabled. Yeah, you've got about a three-minute-ish window of what's active that you can clip at one time. Yeah, while the stream is active. Um, but once it becomes a VOD, you, right, can while it's clip, active. you can clip the whole time it is a VOD. Also, I have it so that you can do the kinds of things, uh, uh, same kinds of things on YouTube. So even when I share it, as a lasting, enduring VOD on YouTube, you can uh, share and clip from YouTube. I do not know how to do it from YouTube, though, because I've never tried. But I do have that all set as permissions on that channel, that yes, yes, you can do that. Oh dear, I have no idea how I got where I was. Uh, this looks like it might be it. Or somewhere in this ballpark. Well, hello, big head. Here. I still haven't even started this quest. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and then once you have the clip, you can, uh, Share it into all the places. And then people can wonder what kind of weirdo I am. 
And then I can get asked many, many questions. Oh, I don't think they'll have to wonder. I think they'll figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, and I always wonder when, like, the weird clips, like, about fisting happen, you know, those kinds of things. And then I get an uptick in viewership. Like, what kind of viewers are watching me now? What are you guys looking for here? <laughs> so there's some dual judging. So, I mean, I guess Don't it's judge. fair. We take all types here. I, I'm sorry that I ever made your life difficult as a healer. <laughs> the fisting jokes. Duh, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're here for the dirty jokes. And, well, they do happen. What I really love is when it's people that, like, know me but don't really watch my stream who see a clip and then ask me and go, um, what am I watching right now? And I'm just like, there's, there's no explaining. You just, you just, you just have to, like, know the thing. I found Obi! I didn't pick him up, though, so it doesn't count, right? God, that's your ruling. Does that count as picking him up? Yeah, you just can. No, you didn't pick him up. He picked himself up, so... Okay. Can't really stop him from picking himself up. Not that it would have mattered anyway, it looks like, so... Well, it definitely happened before the time was up, so... Right, but... Alright, now I have to find my way back out so I can, um... You are Bo a chicken? I don't understand the assignment. Oh, I am now a chicken. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand the assignment. All right, so does that mean I have to run away from all of the zombies because I'm terrified of them? Ah, it's a bad thing. I'm terrified. Like that kind of chicken? <laughs> or do I think that I am like... A bird. Like, what kind of chicken are we talking about here? Just to clarify the assignment. Yeah, I have nothing to do with the, the dysentery. I, I, I don't have anything on me for it. So I'm just shitting myself while I'm standing here. Have you met a chicken? Well, that's why I was, like, <laughs> clarifying the assignment. Because there's two different types of chickens. There's the, like, I'm a coward chicken. And then there's the, like... I'm a cock chicken, and those, those, they're nasty. That just means that I would have to, like, fight unarmed. They're little dinos, and they know it. They're like, yeah, bitches, let's go. So what's the assignment? Am, <laughs> am I a, uh... Terrified, or am I like, or am I a, a overconfident micro dinosaur? All right, let's go with terrified micro dinosaur. I mean, overconfident micro dinosaur. Yes, I am the awesomest chicken ever. Terrifying let's... versus terrified. That's what I was trying to say, but you know, I am going to conquer the world. I am chicken feet now. Where are you, bitches? I'm gonna kill you all. You thought you could do this to me! Where are you? The problem is, is that I'm stuck in this building! I'm gonna get out! And then I'm gonna eat you all! I'm gonna pick out your souls! Not enough clucking. <laughs> Brock! Ah, I got you guys! Brock! You're gonna die! Brock! <laughs> <laughs> block, block. <laughs> we don't need more cowbell. We need more clucking. <laughs> you guys haven't seen me play chicken feet. It's it's fine. Block! <laughs> I'm lost. Give me.
me out of this building! I will kill you all! <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. Look! <laughs> I didn't practice my chicken, apparently. <laughs> I do not know my way out! This is, a, like, Space super uh... anticlimactic! Where are they? Where are my enemies? <laughs> it did sound like that. What? I shall conquer them all! Where is he? Where is he? Ah, wait, what? How dare you blow up? <laughs> Hi, Palmer. How dare you blow up before I can annihilate you? Look, look, look! I will take all of you down! You cannot hold me any longer! I shall be free! I can do this! How dare you hold me hostage? Ah! <laughs> I am a mighty dinosaur! And fuck your damn bear! <laughs> <laughs> I know freedom! Cluck! 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 I do not taste good with Jack. Too long to by himself. Fuck! 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 Right. I think he's broken. <laughs> I've too many times. I don't know what's going on from the man, but I think I'm gonna stay the fuck away from him. <laughs> That's so fair from your character. He's like, dude, I don't know what happened. I don't. Nope. I don't want it. Couple times I've seen him, he's just been doing weird ass shit. Uh. <laughs> Unite the fowl! Come on, chickens, where are you? I shall lead you to the noblest chickeny victory! We shall take down all these humans! <laughs> Actually, it kind of looks like they took themselves down. Maybe we already rule the world. Excellent! How to imitate strangling like a turkey? <laughs> I can't say I've ever practiced a chicken, okay? I'm doing my best here. Oh, I love little babies! Oh, I love babies! Oh, no baby's home. Okay. I I can't actually sit on it, or I totally would. came over me. I feel odd. What's a strange taste in my mouth? Find a nest with an egg, you're gonna brood it? <laughs> yes, explosives! I, I had no plans. I was just, I was improvising. We will never know because I didn't find an egg. Man, where's Obi? What a weird taste in my mouth. It's like I've been eating worms. Wow, 
Why do I feel so confident that taste is worms? I swear this apocalypse gets weirder every day. I must be infected. I'm having some strange thoughts, man. Uh, uh. I need to get Obi. You've been inhaling unknown pharmaceuticals in that building. That must be what's going on. <laughs> There were some mushrooms in there! Maybe the pig will stop destroying everything if we keep brainwashing her to thinking that she's one of us? <laughs> At least you didn't explode it, right? Oh dear. Oh my goodness, guys. The things you do. Find out, asshole. Meow. Meat stew. Man, meat no stew honey. Still, heavens. it's so rude. You're getting meat stew from the heavens. My heavens are never that good. I've been, like me. Yeah. I've been I've been trying. It's 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 not been going well. Don't judge. Poop. Crappy crab. Poppycock. Ah, oh, fudge. What should be my swear replacements, right? Like fiddlesticks. Cluckety cluck cluck. Clock. Man, this ducking sucks. Ooh, kabugula. Titties, that is not a girl's word. Neither is boobies. Or dick, for that matter. Or vagina, or penis. All of those things can be said. <laughs> but are they blue-footed boobies? I can't say I looked. Karen swears they just fall into a different camp of no. Well, they're in a camp of maybe. Context, man. Context. It's all about the context. And people absolutely get weird about it. It's... Brrr. Yes, well, there is a reason that my Twitch pods are on a different channel. is so we don't have to worry as much. Otherwise, my poor editors would be oinking all over the place. Alright, let's find Obi. 
Let's do a basic loot through this, and then let's do the quest. So I haven't even loaded it once. Why would I have looted it once? Oh, you're definitely thought you were still talking about the, uh... Oh no, that's where we're talking. No, I guess you're still at the... I don't know, why wouldn't you have looted it once? Why would I have? So judgy. I put the wolves in my pockets! Oh, definitely get rid of that. So that we can have more wolf snacks. Ah, uh, did you just spoil my wolf snacks? You did. Well, now they'll just rot. It's fine. They'll go to waste. It looks like what's on my bike also rotted. Interesting. Oh no, wait, this didn't. I must have just had rotted meat. I did, I killed them. Wahaha! I didn't get to eat them. They just they just rotted to waste. Is that better though that they rot and go go to waste? Isn't it better if their death has meaning? I made sure their corpses would be further desecrated. <laughs> <laughs> Riding means we can eat it and <laughs> you won't. <laughs> Collect these mushrooms. See what what's going on with them, because man, they definitely uh causing some strange shit. 
Too long have we been played by the vicious piggy armies. <laughs> oh yes, the vicious piggy. I am terribly vicious, guys. Wait. Terribly vicious. <laughs> I mean, I've never really had a good villain laugh, so I might as well embrace the fact that I have a crappy villain laugh. These are not the ones that you break. It's fine. Everything's fine. Indian tries to be the big bad. Well, you know, we can't all be like the biggest baddest. It takes good followers to make bad guys' dreams come true. So this is a fetch and clear, and Obi is in here somewhere. Come on, jerkwads, let's do this.
No, that's quite the shot. Hello, Dad. How you doing? Alright. Nothing much, just working on a prototype for the robotics club. Nice. What are you making? Looks like it's down somewhere. That's a broad category in this place. Okay, there's... The explosive crates are just odd these days. Because it always gives me two rocket launchers and some rockets. Why, why two rocket launchers? <laughs> one for you, one for me? I think it really legit gives you one for each person. can enjoy the explosive fun. Nope. It looks like uh, he's trying to compel you, Miss Rock. Where? Uh, as I'm looking for chain, huh? I don't know. It is up to you whether you want to be compelled by cakes. Yeah. Eternal oh, question. I am. Am Tarzan, and Miss Roch is. Is Jane. Hey, oh. this is why I say the things <laughs> out loud because before I like engage and do the thing and start spending your points, this is why I always say, Hey, this is how I understand it. And then you have a chance to be like, Wait, no, this is not what I meant. You have to add codes for it, and it's just hard. Oh, that coding is super hard. I feel like the rest of what you were telling me, though, got lost in the, like, Tarzan. Programming just is kind of hard. Yeah. Anything out the usual, a robot that carries things might make one that destroys stuff, probably. Ah! Murderbot! Murderbot! Alright. Don't forget to do the... Whoa! Sound. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do a wah sound. That's the best I got. Wah, wah. That's it. That's all I got. You know, the good old Tarzan. Ah, 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 ah. See, you're definitely a better Tarzan here already. I'm trying. All right, five minutes engaged. <laughs> Where's Jane? I have no things to swing on. Well, I'm jumping. I I don't know much about Tarzan. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have no allies. There are are. I wait. He would totally be like fisting it. He wouldn't. He 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 he's a puncher, right? I don't think that he's like. Fisting his way to Jane. Where is yes? Fisting my way to Jane. Where is my Jane? 
must find my Jane. And of course, Obi can't be my Jane. I don't know my way out of this building, though. I shall never find my Jane. Wah! Here we go with fisting again. You're welcome. Bad dog, say, I compel you. <laughs> hey, bad dogs, you're supposed to listen to me. I'm the king of the jungle and shit. Hey, hey! I think there's something wrong with these dogs. Guys, guys! Hey, hey! Hey, bad dogs! No! I compelled to thee to behave! Ah! Oh. Do the yell to show domination. Ah! Oh, they're part of the. They're, they're domesticated, so they're not part of the jungle anymore. You're right. That's probably the problem. I'm sure that's the only problem. Hey, wait! This is our treehouse! Jane must be nearby! I've been teleported near the treehouse! Don't try to get in my way! I need to find Jane! Teacher said if we use Chad, he won't be mad. He will just be very disappointed. Jane! Where art thou? I must be sure that you are safe. Sorry. I really am bad at Tarzan. I, I read one Tarzan book once in my whole life. I, I'm really not sure what the character is supposed to be like. And, okay, see, the problem is, is he's like an 1800s character, and Tarzan was actually exceptionally educated. I don't know what the new Tarzan is like. Yes, it all depends on which point in his life is where you find him, I think, comes down to his education level. And in the start of the books, Tarzan is a well-educated dude. You get backstory later. Jane! That is true. Jane! Where are you? Have the terrible white men come and captured you and whisked you away? <laughs> <laughs> they were white. He was not. Just saying. You're supposed to be at home cooking for me! Know your place, woman! This is not appropriate for you to be gallivanting! Well, I saw you were coming home and I GTFO'd, so, you know. Woman! Woman, this is not appropriate! You're supposed to stay home, be safe, cook, and have babies! Oh, this is terrible. You've definitely been kidnapped. There's no way that you would leave the sanctity of the home. Okay, great. Now I'm not Tarzan anymore. <laughs> adventurous man upset he is with adventurous woman. Yeah, well, I, that is Tarzan. He really gets pissed off at Jane at the end of the first book. Because she stands up to him and tells him where to fucking go. I mean, Tarzan was the most sexist book I have, like, read in a really long time. But then again, it was written in the 1800s. I have... 
haven't seen like the Disney version or any of like the modern movies of Tarzan. I have no idea what you guys are expecting for Tarzan. I know nothing, guys. And Tarzan was low-key the bad guy, too. Because he was disrupting society. So what does she give us? A caveman with vocabulary and sexism. I mean, that's that that's kind of what he was, man. He would have been but, like. Yeah, that does very much sum up the Tarzan experience. At least in the book, I I mean the original novel. That's all I gotta go on, guys. He was an animal loving, tree hugging yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, not in the novel. Stuff. Yep. Oh, he was a jaded rich boy who was entitled, very sexist. Oh, interesting. The moo. Hello, the moo moo kachu. This looks so much better than when I played console. Oh, yeah, definitely better than console. The console is hopefully going to get an update, but yeah. All right, maybe I can go get Obi now. I'm <laughs> like, what? What are you laughing at? I'm gonna do it. I do it quick because it just hit six o'clock and, uh, and it's I was saying, like you getting night. Obi, but uh, and there's thunder. So. I love, I love that there's this one piece of like <laughs> remaining. Maybe I should do Horde Night here. What could go wrong, right? I would never <laughs> fall in. What level of auto shotgun do you have? Ah, I just got a, a level six from the uh, very treasure did. <gasps> I have a four. So, yes, please. This is, this is where I will be when hard starts. In this frickin' hole. Most people definitely don't know about Book Tarzan. Well, he is the black the sheep of the Tarzan world. <laughs> well, that doesn't really surprise me. I just don't know the... Yes, uh, well. What happened to that building? Well, so we had an explosion like night. Like so many things that the Disneys are based and on. And there was an accident. Yeah, so Disney touched Tarzan and they made him um, something different. I kind of assumed that he was going to be just like all the other things. I mean, like, look what they did to Little Mermaid. And Cinderella and like literally everything they've touched. I'm like, my perception of Tarzan is definitely not going to be like what everybody's thinking. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is interesting. But yeah, if you want a, a really, really rough read that will like change your perspective on Tarzan. Just read the first novel. It's brutal. I was like, oh yeah, I'll I'll read I'll read Tarzan, see what it's like. Oh my freaking lord. I never made it past the first one. It was so bad. Absolutely horrifically bad. Most of the time the book versions are not like the movie or Disney versions. Oh yeah, Disney Disney radically alters everything. And the problem is, is that they asked me to roleplay Tarzan 
they compelled me to roleplay Tarzan, and the only version that I'm familiar with is the book. <laughs> so they didn't get quite what they were expecting. Because <laughs> uh, my only experience with Tarzan is legit the first original novel. And yeah, he was a um, entitled rich prick. Very sexist book. And he was, he was low-key the bad guy. I'm not going to be here on the 28th because I'm going to New York. You're going to New York? Nice! What are you doing in New York? Disney is definitely known for taking darker and more gruesome stories and turning them into more cutesy and fantastical. I think they could have really done some interesting and good things with... Um, Tarzan, if they had chosen to go there, because Tarzan absolutely addresses a lot of stuff. And in its time, it was really groundbreaking, if you can, like, stomach it. Because in its time, it was talking about some shit that, like, nobody was talking about. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's rough to read. Because there's a lot of other stuff that it doesn't, it doesn't talk about that... It just, it's fine with. But there's a lot of good reasons that it became um, a very important novel. Hence the reason that I was like, all right, I'll I'll go read this. Oh my god, it was I I struggle bust through the first and I don't think that I will ever ever read anything else in that series. I don't think I can make myself. All right. Um what else do I need? I feel like I'm I don't have any explosives. That's a problem. Or the explosives that I have are not the ones that I will want for tonight. I should clarify that. to pick up that box. It's yours now. Come come pick up this dropped loot. My inventory is full. I already filled up my pockets. Almost time! Almost time! All right, I have to remember where did we Cinderella is absolutely brutal, for sure. Yes, mommy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the box labels. Playing core keeper. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that. Dr. Seuss cheated on his wife while she had a mental illness, just so you know. Oh, there's all kinds of writers and uh, creative people who did some really awful things. And it always begs the question, do you celebrate the great creative works that these people do in spite of them being terrible people? I don't know the answer. Because it's far from Dr. Seuss. I think that if you look very closely at any of the great writers, you're going to find darkness there. Hey, 
Especially if we're looking at the more modern ones. Are you carrying, like, two different shotguns? One with, say, uh, the uh, armor piercing and one without? No. To deal with things like... No. Why would I do like something demos cool and, that? and useful okay. like that? Something to consider for the future. No, I don't even have armor piercing ammo. Why? They're Why the green would ones. I... Why would I plan for things like this? Can you can you just not expect so much from me? Shit. You want too much. So much. I don't want anything. I'm just asking questions. That's what he says. We know the truth. He has expectations. Is the base that you built? I don't even know. I, I was just there. It's on the south side. Okay. I mean, every time, like, Harry Potter stuff comes out, this kind of conversation comes up of, do you support a terrible artist? And what are the social implications of doing so? I don't think the answers are clear cut in black and white. Because people aren't. We are all hot messes of gray. Come on, zombies, let's do this shit! I'm ready! I mean, one of my top five favorite writers is Edgar Allan Poe, and that man was not a good man. Yep, yeah, he's definitely got some darkness. I mean, one of my favorites growing up was uh, Orson Scott Card, and that man is a man full of hate. We need a swear jar. <laughs> oh, we need something. Death counter and a swear jar. So it begins. Yeah, he's pretty awful. I don't think people really realize, like how awful most of these creators are if they dig into their past at all. So when they're like, oh, you shouldn't support, you know, insert a single author like JK Rowling, it's like, take your pick, man. Who you who you gonna hate on? Does that mean that you, you avoid all creative works because if you're not going to support assholes, then that's what it means. Want to buy more spike traps at your base? Ah, oh, nah, I don't even stay at my base most of the time. What has J.K. Rowling done? Oh, she's very anti-trans. Uh, she has put out a um, long essay about how transgendered people are terrible. If you go to my blog, I have a post about it. And why I myself am not anti-Harry Potter, even though I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I don't, like, as a trans person, I don't ask people to, like, ban Harry Potter stuff. And why I, uh don't take that stand but that's exactly it if you look far enough in you're going to find that every creator has some baggage and has some kind of every every creator every company has some kind of baggage they're doing something 
that you really ought not to support. So where do you draw the line? And it becomes very problematic very quickly when you say you shouldn't support a thing because you're not punishing J.K. Rowling. She's still going to have a platform. She's still got billions of dollars. She's still going to be rich. You're accomplishing nothing when you in punishing her as an individual. But the people that work for her and the people who work on the projects that are not working for her but are working for the companies that are making these products are going to suffer by those decisions. So who who's really... Who's really suffering when you make these decisions? And I don't have any good, clear answers. I don't know how we make these checks and balances. I don't know how we separate the author from the written work or the painter from the painting, etc. But to say that you can just ban their work and that somehow makes it okay and will somehow solve the problem historically has proven that not to be the case. I mean, there's this has been a problem for a very long time. It's not a new thing. And there are many authors... Um, Orwell has some really great essays about this problem. It's, it's not new. I feel like supporting someone who is alive and has active influence in their political sphere is different than an author that is long dead. Absolutely, I, I do. I think that's very true. Like, I think that there is definitely a difference in the clout that J.K. Rowling and Orson Scott Card have and the influence they have in our society is, is very different than anything that is going on in the authors that are not currently making political, you know, active political statements in our society. But I don't know what the answer is. And I don't think that there are clear um, solutions. And I don't think that it's as, as easy as don't buy their stuff. Because I think that don't buy the Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter product punishes a lot of people, some of whom are trans. There are trans people who are working on Harry Potter products. So does that... Does that solve the problem? Does it does it make it so that she stops saying hateful shit? Does it make it so that people stop listening to her? No. I don't I don't know what the answer is. I don't know how you remove her social power. And I don't know how you make it so that um assholes don't have a stage. I, I, I don't have good answers. But I don't feel that the answer is a universal club that punishes hundreds of people unilaterally and not just the artist who's saying asshole shit. Well, sure, she's going to use her money to support the things that she believes in. I... I I, I get that. And I'm and I understand why people are banning her. I do. But I will say that historically, banning problematic creators has not solved the problem. This is not a new problem. Um Orwell has written about this extensively and he has some really great essays on it. And it demonstrates that this is not a new problem. Um, it, it's not a 2020 created issue. It's an issue that began as early as the printing press. As soon as we, we give people the means to disseminate their ideas in a widespread manner, we now have to deal with the reality that some of those people are going to be assholes, but also have political social standing. And how do you deal with that? Yeah, shit is always complicated. And I think that that's...
my issue that I have with this this approach, especially when you say if you buy something Harry Potter, it means that you are anti-trans. I have a major problem with that. I don't think that people who love Harry Potter and who buy Harry Potter stuff are by default aut automatically um, anti-trans. I, I definitely don't think that it's that simple. Um, just like I don't think that the people who buy Ender's Game products are anti-gay. I, I, I don't think that it's that, that simple. And there's a lot of people out there who are saying, if you buy um, Harry Potter stuff, then you must be anti-trans and you can't be a trans out. And I think that's going way too far. Do I think that there's value in political politically arming your dollar? Absolutely. I have no issue with somebody saying I'm going to politically arm my dollar and choose to make political decisions with my dollar so that company know companies know that I'm not going to financially support shit that um, doesn't align with things that I value. I think that, that that's, that's fine. I have no issue with that. Including if you're not going to support people who are anti-trans with your dollar. I, I, I don't think there's a problem with that. I think the problem is when we extend it beyond how you choose to spend your do dollar and demonize people and say that how they choose to spend their dollar is a um, statement in their own beliefs and their own judgment of an own value. And that I think that's a dangerous and a slippery, slippery slope, and we need to be careful when we start doing that. And man, chat is going by way faster than I am able to respond to everything in context of also staying alive. <laughs> Having a political conversation in board night is kind of interesting. Definitely, definitely an interesting time to try to have have a chat. For some people, call me anti-transgender for me planning to buy Hogwarts Legacy. The game just looks fun. I mean, that is definitely what's happening, is that, that there are people... So let me put it on the table that I'm transgender. I am bi-gender. Um, I am absolutely not <laughs> against the transgender community. I am a huge advocate for the for the transgender community. I am a huge supporter of the transgender community, and I'm part of the transgender community. So let me put that on the table in this discussion for those that don't already know that. I have fought for the rights of the transgender community for years, um, mostly in the medical arena. Um, so when I say that, I don't think that this is necessarily the best approach. It's not because I am anti, you know, transgender, even though I've been accused of that. That, that me saying people's buying Harry Potter autom is okay automatically makes me anti-transgender is just silly because that's clearly not where I stand. And I think that we need to stop being so black and white in the way that we approach political matters when there's a lot of gray and a lot of complexity to these issues. Oh, you bastards. Ah! Come on, why is it every time I get out my rocket launcher, y'all make it so I can't use it? You bastards! Just trying to give you more time to engage with chat. It's oh, is that what down. it is? Well, you can use your rocket launcher now. Oh, fuck me. You bastards. <laughs> it 
It just has been the timing. I pull out my the rocket launcher and then it's like, nope. I'm sorry, what's showing up? Oh crap. I'm sorry, I missed Rachel. What's showing up? Oh, demos. Yeah, we love demos. They're great. It's fabulous. We demos, die. big explosive fuckers. And I think that it's pretty common to have people who support a cause be in disagreement in how to best support a cause. And that doesn't mean that you are on different sides and it doesn't mean that we are enemies. And I feel like America has become very divisive and has become very much, you're either my enemy or you're my ally. And I think that we need to stop with this all or nothing viewpoint that just because somebody who is a transgender rights supporter doesn't um completely view things the way that you do doesn't mean that they aren't an advocate and absolutely they they have extreme ex they they have extreme ex too And all the politics have become polarized, even even rights activism. And I think that that's a huge problem in this country. And I think that's what I'm trying to talk about more than anything else in this issue, is that it is okay for someone who is a transgender supporter say, I don't agree that this is necessary in order to support transgender people. That, that, that doesn't mean that you hate transgender people. It just means that you don't agree on that point. Uh, movie night is not tonight. I don't know off the top of my head what night it is again, but if you go to my more zebra pig, you can see my um, full calendar that has all of my events, including my non-Twitch events. And that will tell you when the next movie night is. Just like I often get told that I'm not an autistic individual supporter because I, I um, call it a disability. And I used the wrong language. And it's the same problem. You know, we, it, it's like, all right, I understand that you don't like this language that I choose to use, but there is a reason for it. And there are good reasons that I use this language. And uh, now I'm on fire, it's fine. And that we should have those conversations. And I think that we don't have enough conversations in this country. I think that's the problem. We just assume everybody who doesn't do everything exactly the way we do is our enemy. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be that way. Why am I not moving forward? There we go. Your controls are backwards. No, no, I was jumping and i don't know why i kept jumping and i, I think my space, okay. my space button i think was stuck well it was the messed up controls so it right i that. asked i, I asked my question i asked my question where i know that my space my, my my controls were weird that's not what i was trying to ask i just kept repeatedly jumping instead of running in a straight line and i'm not sure why that was happening I think my space bar got stuck. Yeah, people absolutely have personalized their viewpoint and have made their viewpoints part of their ego so when you challenge their their viewpoint you are by default challenging them as an individual and they can't separate them anymore 
And I think that that's very problematic. And people become very surprised when I'm open to you, um, genuinely open to people challenging my view. I want people to tell me that they are pro-guns and tell me why. I want people to tell me they are anti-abortion and explain to me why. Because when we have those conversations and we really get into the guts of what people think and believe, then maybe we can better understand each other and meet in the middle and make realistic conversation, uh, realistic compromises. But as long as we're demonizing each other, and as long as we're just, oh, you're the enemy and you're an asshole because you don't agree with me, we're never going to meet in the middle and make those compromises that we have to make in order to be a functional society. Got it. Because you can't have the absolutes in society and be functional. You always have to have a compromise. Both sides have to give something up. That, that's how relationships and societies function well. And once we reached this weird point in society that we started saying no, all or nothing, we became very dysfunctional and we have reached the point where we aren't, aren't going to be able to solve the problems because people aren't willing to bend and, and give up some on each side to meet in the middle. You have to be open to compromise. You have to be. That, that's, that's what society is founded on. That's what good relationships are founded on. And if we can't rebuild this into our politics, then our society is going to crumble. It's going to fail. It's not sustainable. We can't stay polarized and we can't stay othering and we can't stay demonizing the other side indefinitely. It will lead to war. This is what civil wars are made of. When there's no compromise, there is war. That is, that's what war is founded on. Societies are founded on compromise. War is founded on absolutes. No compromises make a toxic relationship on a small level, yet so many are surprised it is also toxic on a big societal level. Yeah. We need a term and age limits. I agree. I think there absolutely needs to be a term limit. And I think that there needs to be a, a, an age limit. I agree. There's a lot of research that that, that is, you know, medical research that supports term limits. You know, people say it's ageist, but I say that it's called biology. Um... The reality is that we lose the plasticity of our brain over time, and that goes into a sharp decline at the age of 50, and we lose the ability to keep up with, and we lose the ability to, to adapt to the things that are going on in our society as we get older. We also begin to have cognitive decline at the age of 65. That is, that is medical reality. So why, why do we have political leaders who are in a state of lacking neuroplasticity and in a state of inevitable cognitive de decline? And yes, lobbyists gotta be out. That's bullshit. Lobbyists equate to corporatocracy. Corporatocracy under the veil of democracy is what America is right now. Well, look at all of the people who are saying they're running for candidacy in, in 2024. They are all in the air in the age range of no longer having neuroplasticity and being in the age, age range of cognitive decline based on what medical research tells us. And we see this when we have our, um, 
legal leadership interview people in the um, technology and medical field and they ask some of the dumbest fucking questions. And younger people, people who have maintained their neuroplasticity yeah, and I mean, their just ability the to learn. Newest stuff with the. We just sit here and go, what the fuck? Why are you asking this question? It's because they can't keep up. Yeah, they're, they're t uh, interviewing for Congress the leader of TikTok, or the CEO of TikTok, and some of the questions, like, you guys have no fucking clue. Does, does TikTok turn on your Wi Fi? Um, no. no. That, 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 that's. Like, they, they do not understand the basic principles of the things that they are making laws on and making just political decisions on because they do not have the neuroplasticity available to them to be able to learn the material that they need to learn at the rate that they need to learn it in order to be able to make reasonable decisions. Behind you. They just can't do it. And it's not their fault. It's biology. But because it's biology, why are we allowing them in those positions of political power? It's absolute fucking insanity. No politician should be in any external party's pocket. Well, unlike so many things, people. I think it's just holdover stuff. Oh, that it they is. used to not live much past 65. Oh, so nobody absolutely. Noticed. It, it wasn't a thing. And now, as people become older, it is a thing. And it's an issue. And we haven't updated our laws as our society has has aged and life expectancy has changed. And because the older people are the people who are in power, they don't want to change those laws. Because our society is ageist. And it's ageist for the older people. If you look at who holds power right now, the people who are wealthy, the people who are, are holding political power, the people who are holding corporate power, etc., statistically, are older than 50. In America, if you hold power, you are an older individual. So why would these people in power want to make rules that would remove them from power? Like, they, they don't want to. The only thing that we have going for them is that they're eventually going to age out. That's what we have going for them. I feel like this is just yet another thing that our society has outpaced our legal institutions adapting to literally anything. Yeah, it, it's it's really hard for um, legal systems to maintain the adaptability that is necessary when our science is so fast-paced. And that's what we're finding to be the biggest shortcoming of any legal system, not just democracy. It doesn't matter what the legal system is. I am 34. I highly doubt that we'll have enough money in the budget to fund any sort of social security for me in 30 years. I mean, not without a starting over. I think it can be done, but it's going to have to be done the way that Social Security was done to start with. I, I don't think that the Social Security program is completely screwed, but yeah, those funds don't exist now, for sure. We would have to go back to making it a secure, untouchable, separated fund. We would have to go back to a lot of, yeah, we would just, we would just have to go back to a lot of things. And, and, and we would have to completely revamp the program and start over, for sure. And we would have to do it with the understanding that many people who are alive right now would not be able to largely benefit from the program. That there would be a gap. Not all states even have laws for selling digital projects. Yeah, exactly. It's insanity. It's absolutely insanity. 
We're so caught up on what crusty old men who, for all intents and purposes, hated women wrote. The Bible, the Constitution, it's 2023, and it's not like that. Let's not act like those writings should dictate how we live hundreds of years later. Yeah, that would be really refreshing. Like, the whole point of those documents was an understanding that there was no way that they could predict what would be needed a hundred years from the time of writing it. Like, that, that was the point. That it needed to be a fluid and living document. They understood that. They had that wisdom. And yet, in our current time, we are undermining that wisdom by trying to demand that it stay an unliving, breathable document. And we are trying to make it a rigid thing when the whole beauty of it and the wisdom of it was making it a living thing. Oh, the Bible absolutely hates women, Cookie. Sorry. The Bible is absolutely sexist as written. I mean, I can go all day on that. I mean, let's just start with the rule of thumb. Leviticus, baby. Let's open Leviticus if you want to know where... Let's talk about Leviticus if you want to talk about why the Bible hates women. Woo! When God commands that men shall be punished with the raping of their women... He shall not punish men by hurting the men. He shall punish men with the raping and the condemning of the women. The women shall be gutted open and their babies pulled from their womb. And he shall be forced to watch them. That is Leviticus at its finest. It is always the women in Leviticus. Oh yeah, open Leviticus if you want to see how much the Bible hates women. I... I that's, that's your Bible, baby. You, you cannot tell me a Leviticus has been pulled out of the Bible. King James is the most common version of the Bible. I mean, I spent many, 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 many years in cemetery, uh, cemetery, <laughs> seminary, and for better or worse, in cemetery, huh? Yeah, Stop yeah, yeah. There should be a point and right for better or worse, I am very painfully familiar with what is and is not in the Bible, and the Bible as a document is very sexist. And there's no version of the Bible. That is not sexist. It doesn't exist. The very original Bible is the Torah, um, which is the Jewish document, and it was sexist. And every version of the Bible that has been translated from that is... Yeah, in seminary might as well be cemetery for sure. Um, it's just inherently in it. Where it talks about how men have power over women. How it talks about how women should obey men. This is in every version of the Bible. That That's sexism. That is hate speech. That is disempowerment. It is all about submission and serving. And now, let me, let me just say, that being said, just because the Bible has a lot of inherent darkness in it does not mean that I for one moment believe that every Christian is inherently dark and terrible person. That is absolutely not what I, what I believe. I believe that Christians are just like every other person on the planet, every group of people on the planet, that... There are believers in a faith, and there are good people within that belief system, and there are bad people in that belief system. You know, I, I am Wiccan, and there are assholes that are Wiccan. There are sexist fuckers that are Wiccan. 
and there are haters who are wicked. You know, it's it's not an exclusive club. Um, I have even met Catholics who are Keep good people. Are there problems with the faith? Are there problems with the doctrine? Yes. But that doesn't mean that the individuals themselves are problematic. Those are two very separate and very distinct, very important distinctions that need to be made. And I think that sometimes we forget that those distinctions exist. And I think that's part of where hate and anger towards groups happen. Because it's very easy for people like myself who have been hurt by groups of people to lump those people all together. It would be very easy for me to hate all Christians because Christians have historically hurt my people for centuries. You know, witches have been harmed for centuries by Christians. It would be very easy for me to be to be able to feel justified in hating the Christian group. But that that's not how it works. Not every Christian person is a terrible person because they believe in Christ. You can be a Christian and be a good person. But there are definitely problems with the um with the text and there are definitely problems with the uh, way that that Christianity has been historically taught and the way that it has been historically in, um, indoctrinated and, and, and enculturated. So yeah, there, there's historically a lot of problems with Christianity. And I think that until Christianity answers to those problems and until Christianity starts working on those problems, I'm not sure that those problems are really going to be addressed. It's it's just like every kind of hate that's inherently part of a culture. Until you look at it head on and address it and really examine from whence it comes and work on it from the inside, it's not going to just magically go away because we don't like it being there. We have to do the work. And the only people who can do the work to make Christianity better are Christians. Personally, I feel one of the biggest things that I feel makes many people Christianity so toxic is the insistence that they're the one right way and others are doomed unless they convert. Yeah, I think that, that, that there's definitely the one true God problem, for sure. There's a lot of doctrine that's problematic in Christianity. I, I go back to the, 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 the problematic doctrine. So there's problematic doctrine in Christianity. The one truth is very problematic because... It, it, it very much makes it so that there's there's right people and wrong people and there's right faith and wrong faith and there's good people and bad people kind of inherently in that there's other doctrine though that's problematic in in christianity and even the golden rule is rather problematic treat others how i would want to be treated not how they want to be treated um that's problematic you know if I value something, I'm going to impose that upon you, is what Christianity teaches. That's problematic doctrine. Um, so there's there's a lot of things that are kind of problematic in, in inherent in the doctrine of Christianity. It's very othering. Um, and I will tell you that one of the biggest things that people don't think about with Christianity that is problematic in other faiths too. This is not exclusive. But when your authority is a higher being and your truth comes from a higher being, it inherently makes a power structure and inherently creates a structure of lesser, of greater and lessers. When your power structure is unilateral and the only people you're beholden to is each other, there is no greater than or lesser than. So if you, you, you create an upper power structure 
as is created with the authority of God, you can then justify the power structure of authority in people and having an authority over people. And we see this in the history of Christianity versus other faiths that believe in the unilateral authority of all humanity and therefore it comes across the board and yeah the message has been somewhat altered over the years for sure that's how faith in christianity i mean how how all of culture works i mean no religion and no culture is exempt from the reality that history is going to change. I mean, for sure. And again, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to say that Christians or Christianity are evil people because I don't believe that. But I do believe that there's work to be done to avoid and reduce the harm that Christianity has historically caused. And it doesn't help that Christianity has also been wielded as a weapon by many political ruler, believer or not, to inflict pain upon others. Absolutely. Christianity has definitely been used as a political weapon. And that definitely does not help. I disagree. I think that sections of it have changed, but I think that ones full of hate, Catholics, have changed a, haven't changed a bit. Oh, Catholicism is, is, the history of Catholicism is very clear. It has definitely changed over time. That, the history shows us that. It has evolved and changed over time. I mean, if you look at the history of Catholicism, it has absolutely evolved and changed over time. That, that, that is an indisputable historical fact. And what that fact shows us is that it has gotten, um less violent we're not doing crusades we're not doing witch hunts um but historically catholicism has been very problematic absolutely but i would argue that catholicism is no longer at the center of a lot of the violence that it historically has been at the center um so we are not in an era of a witch hunt. We are not in the era of a lot of the really awful, awful, violent things that Catholicism was at the center of. So it, it is different. It is better. Do I think Catholicism has a long way to go? Yes. Do I think that Christianity in general has a long way to go? Yes. Do I think Christianity is the only religion that needs to improve? Fuck no. I think that a lot of organized religions have a lot of problematic doctrines that are about the othering and the justification and the empowerment of politics and the weaponization of religion. And I think that we need to do better in the future. Um, I, I think that we need to work on all of that. Is the bar really that low? I think that we need to start with the largest problems and until you have solved those large problems of gross violence and until you've solved those issues you can't move on okay so it's it's the hierarchy of needs and until those basic needs of of safety of being fed etc those two foundational needs of the of the maslow's hierarchy of needs are met we cannot move forward and we have not achieved that we've not achieved those two basic foundational needs people do not feel safe people do not feel that food is secure people do not feel that health care is affordable and accessible and until we meet those basic needs the bar has to remain low we have to to achieve those before we can move forward. So yeah, the bar is low because you can't move forward and you can't build upon glass. And right now, our foundation is fucking glass because we're not meeting those basic needs that people need to have met. We have failed that fundamentally. And not just religion, 
all of society has failed that fundamentally. We are not able to keep people safe and we're not able to keep their needs met. So we have to go back to the foundation and rebuild. Chicken where? <laughs> right. Uh. Yeah, we got pretty intense there, guys. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Annie Lennox said it best. Walking on broken glass. Yep. All right, we're going to be a caveman again, apparently. We're going to find ourselves a chicken. I need... Oh, well, apparently I need to, like, make these guys fight. Hey, I'm mighty warrior. Go away. Me need chicken. <laughs> Politics suck. Well, then you might be in the wrong place, Cookie. <laughs> ah! Me, Matty Hunter! Me, conquer the world! Because we, we do that a lot here. Oh, look! Chicken! Chicken, my chicken! Ah! Sword foul play. Uh, uh. Go give me chicken. Maybe hags leave me alone now. Ah, chicken! Ah, chicken! Chicken! Hey, chicken! This is gonna end badly, but chicken! Nom 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 nom. We love chicken. Chicken best. Oh, chicken! Chicken everywhere! Mmm, chicken! Oh, chicken on fire! No burn chicken! Oh, chicken! Oh, what wrong with chicken? Whoa, chicken, what you doing? No chicken, bad chicken! No chicken, bad chicken! <laughs> Thirteen of them before the devoid chickens. <laughs> bad chicken! No chicken! No chicken, bad chicken! Bad right chicken! <laughs> bad! Bad chicken! No, bad chicken! Bad chicken! Bad chicken! Bad! Bad chicken! Bad! Bad chicken! Bad! Bad chicken! <laughs> oh man, the ragdoll effect! Bad! Bad chicken! No! No, let me no chicken! Me just want snack! Whoa! Me want the snack! Whoa! Me, my stick no break! What happened? It knows that you would do what? Hey, it says it still works. Hey, woo! Now, I'm not sure why it still works, but hey, I just assumed it was gonna not work. Why can I not move? Ah! Instead, my legs don't work. All right. Ah! I can't move. Ah! Hey, hey, guys, check it. Chicken annihilate me! But I'm mighty hunter! I'm better than chicken! Chicken! Take nap! Bad chicken! <sighs> yeah, take that chicken! Oh, look at all this crabby chicken! Oh, I need some good chicken left! Me a chicken! <laughs> yeah, chicken take nap! <laughs> Mmm, chicken! <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? Ah, big chicken! Big bad chicken! No! No bad chicken! Very, very bad chicken! You, you grow too big! No bad chicken! Bad chicken! No! No bad chicken! You, you, you take big nap! Ah! No bad chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, King Salt! How you doing? Bad, bad chicken! Bad chicken! Down chicken! 
Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm on fire. Bad chicken. Bad, bad chicken. No. <laughs> ah! Ah! Chicken turn into dino. Me run from dinos. Ah! Dino chicken bad. <laughs> Shit, I'm still running, man. It's like a Godzilla chicken. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> um. He can make a hell of a mess, but it was so worth it. <laughs> Take that, dino chicken. with fire guys it makes it more better -er. <laughs> didn't know you guys were gonna see Godzilla chicken today did you <laughs> Leave my pocket snacks alone, Siri. It thinks you're going good today. A little interesting around here, you know, having some adventures and some politics and Godzilla chickens. You just, you just never know what's going to happen here. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> you gotta go, it's always far. Well, go get some sleep! <laughs> Crazy kook. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. We always like to have murder hobos hang out with us. Oh man, maybe I can finally go collect Obi. Yeah, you, you probably guys... watch all the exciting stuff anyway. We're just about done. Are you guys gonna finally let me collect Obi? Is is that is that gonna be a thing? Poor Obi. He probably thinks he's been forgotten. May you dream of chicken! Do dino chickens dream of Godzilla? Oh man, this is just like... Here we go again! I don't know how many times I have run this direction and covered this exact path. For Obi! I mean, I did run it once for Jane. And she did not appreciate it. Man. The things that you do for love, and then they just, they just don't understand how much you work for them. Apparently presents that I didn't pick up before. <laughs> Eat me some spaghetti. Glad to hear that you are doing well. I'm coming, Obi! I have not forgotten you!
My poor little robot! Yay, this is how we are murdering trees. Nope, we're not murdering trees right now. I mean, I do have some dynamite. Not on my person, but if I can get Obi and back to home, then we will definitely blow up a house. Oh, three, you're going. You won't have time. Nah, it's, I'm sure it's fine. Send off is blowing up a house. I mean, sounds like a good send off to me. Blowing up houses, Dad Zebra woke up and decided to be a rebel today. Oh, that's because today is Chaos Day. Chaos is enabled! That is Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday! Uh, I have this this place though. I don't know where my friend is here. I never know where my friend is here. Tier 60 lacks in the box now. What? I don't know if you've got a tier 60 lacks yet or not. Uh, I do not. I have a tier have 3. A tier 6 iron shovel? Not I a steel shovel? Yeah, it looks like my shovel's iron. Or do you have a dye to color? Oh, come on, where is Obi? He's had enough of your shit, so he's hiding. Um, you know, I really can't blame the poor guy. Blow some shit up, guys. Because what could go wrong? To get close, it's fine. They're dead. Uh, well, I found Obi just to immediately lose him again. <laughs> and we're doing a water the face all thank you. Obi is probably traumatized for sure. Twelve dynamite. Is that is that uh, all? The... We had some. There's at least seven more in the first trader box. There's six more in trader two. I don't think there's any in trader three. But...
All right, guys, let's go blow. Those box names are quite interesting, aren't they? Yeah. Let's go find a house to blow up. Yeah, she does have weird name choices for boxes. They only see you for a few moments before you die, and they can do nothing but watch and wait. It's so true. Poor Obi. I can't even imagine what its little circuits think of all of this. Uh, God, why do I have such an inept user? I, I'm, I'm sure that's on the list. you're talking about things happen i'm 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 just happy if i don't blow myself up what i'm not hurting you I'm not killing any snakes sheesh If anything, she's returning things to natural habitat so snakes can use it as nesting ground. Caves and such. And no remorse. Nope! I'm returning things to their natural order. It looks like if I flip it, um, that uh, it's just redeemed. A flip it in the middle of explosions! <laughs> Second, I really thought you were going to turn the rocket launcher on it. Well, I might. Flip it engaged. We're just engaging in some demolition work. What's the problem? All right, what could possibly the demolitions? <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? Let's just throw some dynamite now. Let's... Nope, that one wasn't lit first. Oops. <laughs> Just remember, you created this chaos. actually going fairly well. I haven't blown myself up yet. I mean, 
mean, even if I blow up now, it's still going pretty good. I mean, there's always room for disaster. started. I've got it flipped. I mean, you know me, I don't change my activity just because you flip it. That's silly. I just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to be able to become a door to door rocket launcher salesman. Right. I really still feel like for this stream, I need to set it up so they can see that I do, in fact, have my thing flipped. Because they almost always ask me, Do you have it flipped? And it's like, Yes, yes, I do. I, I, I feel like I need a camera. Well, for better or worse, you have gotten pretty good at it, so... Uh... Missed the action band? What action band? But you are using... you're not using the laptop keyboard anymore. Oh, yep, I missed the action band. Oh, um, yep, I did as well, sorry. <laughs> Oh, so you're going to count it as cheating. Oh, well, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, no, we we'll can just, return I'll it. I'll you your points and uh, I'll have to do it for next time. I did. Missing it is not the same as willfully some circumventing it. Come on, guys. I do not willfully circumvent your redeems. I mean, I engage in some pretty ridiculous shit because you redeem it. <laughs> you know, there's only so much your brain can pay attention to. And for the record, I actually do really well compared to other people paying attention to my chat when shit is trying to kill me. And for better or worse, the redeems don't show up in chat, so, you know. They do very briefly. Otherwise, there's a whole other screen I have to look at. All right, it's that time. So, I do usually well, the... see them scroll in... in... Yeah, very briefly, I will see them scroll in chat. And usually, that is how I know my redeems happen, is that it's in my chat overlay. Oh, there it is. There's the one line. The... Yeah, it's just a one line that says so-and-so redeem. And that's usually how I know that somebody's redeemed one. Um, but every now and then, there's enough going on on the screen that I miss it. 
If they weren't in chat, shit, I would like never know where games happened. And Mr. Arch would always be having to tell me. Oh my goodness, it would be awful. <laughs> All right, guys, that is our Chaos Engaged night in conclusion. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate all of you guys coming and murdering me tonight. Uh, what? I didn't even pay attention to what our total was. Oops. <laughs> I'm sure you guys got me a good number of times, though. We'll have to figure out the total next time. I was at 171 at the beginning, though, so I'm sure you got me a good 20 times anyway. Um... Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. And a special thank you to those who have been donating, whether in the way of money or video games. I really, really, really appreciate all of that. I also want to say thank you if you are regularly viewing and if you are going to my other social media accounts. I really do appreciate that support. It is amazing. And I want you guys to know that that is a huge support. And I do highly value that. So please, please, please do not undervalue that. And hello, Raiders! You're showing up just in time for me to be raiding out to someone else. <laughs> um, and thank you to everybody who has been giving us fan art. We really appreciate that. If you'd like to contribute to the fan art, you can do that by going to Discord. And any art dropped into the fan art channel, you can do that. And I will include it in this slideshow. Uh, maybe next time, Builder. <laughs> Rip. You were playing Minecraft? Nice, nice. How was your stream going? And if you would like to check out the coffee shop, you can do that by checking the About page. There's a Buy Me a Coffee. If you follow that link, it'll take you to the coffee shop. It is like Patreon with tiers of support, and the different tiers of support give you different perks and benefits. You can also go and support Siri, who is an evil snake demon leader, but she's also an amazing artist, and she's the artist that has done all of the overlays and emotes for my channel. And you can check out her awesomeness by clicking on the dragon in my about page. So go look at her cool arting stuff <laughs> all right let's go check and see who's on that we can give a raid to all right it looks like little monsters is playing seven days to die and they are most likely also engaging in mischief and chaos so let's Go raid them so you guys can continue to be murder hobos tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and supporting. I appreciate it. Um, I will be on again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so we will be in order of the cake nights, which means that we will be playing Elder Scrolls Online. And if you are part of the Dazzle, um, you can engage in shenanigans with us. And you can check out this Discord if you are interested in joining that guildy thing. So, until we can hang out again, you guys be sure to take care of yourselves, alright? Bye, guys! <laughs>